I think a lot of this of, of people living with diabetes mes- aren't necessarily aware of the fact that their cardiovascular health is compromised as a result of uh, potentially uncontrolled blood glucose. So could you go into a little bit of information here about, you know, what is the, sh- the connection between living with diabetes and cardiovascular disease? Well, 84% of people who have diabetes die from heart disease, so it's pretty common. Uh, and so the good news is that you don't have to choose between one set of diet and lifestyle recommendations for reversing your diabetes and a different one for heart disease. They're one and the same. Again, because they share so many of the same underlying biological mechanisms. And so part of the issue with diabetes, let's say type 2 diabetes, which is the most common, used to be called adult onset, although now so many kids are getting it as well. And type 2 diabetes is, well, let's start with type, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where you make antibodies to the islet cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. So it's a deficiency of insulin. But type 2 diabetes, your your body's actually making more insulin than most people. But the insulin binds to receptors called insulin receptors, and they can downregulate so that it takes more and more insulin to get a given effect. Because over time, when these receptors are exposed to repeated surges of insulin, because let's say you eat a lot of sugar or refined carbohydrates, if you go from, say, white flour, brown, brown, excuse me, whole wheat flour to white flour from brown rice to white rice, we're removing the fiber in the bran, and it's the fiber in the bran that generally fill you up before you get too many calories. But they also slow the rate of absorption from your gut into your blood. So if you eat a lot of sugar, your blood sugar zooms up, your pancreas senses that your blood sugar is too high because your body wants to keep it in certain limits. It secretes insulin to bring it back down, which is good. But over time, if it happens over and over and over again, those repeated insulin surges are kind of like the boy who cried wolf at a receptor level. The receptor goes, oh, not more insulin, and it kind of becomes more insensitive or insulin down-regulates or becomes insulin resistant. These are all just different ways of saying the same thing. So that even though your body is making the insulin, your receptors are not really um, responding to it very well. So it takes higher and higher doses to keep your blood sugar under control. And so for many people... They need to be on medication to keep that from happening. But a number of studies have shown that getting your blood sugar down with drugs doesn't prevent the premature mortality and the horrible complications of diabetes nearly as well as getting it down with with diet and lifestyle. The American Diabetes Association says that if you can get your hemoglobin A1C, which is just like a two-month average measure of your blood sugar, down below 7.0 with lifestyle, you can prevent many, if not most, or even all of those complications of diabetes. And what we find is that the receptors become more insulin sensitive. And so your body doesn't uh, need as much insulin. And so even people who are taking either oral or injections of of drugs to lower their blood sugar, under their doctor's supervision can reduce or even get off of these medications and still have their blood sugar in a normal range. The Navigator study and the Accord studies, both of which were in the New England Journal of Medicine, show that tight control of blood sugar with, with drugs actually increased premature mortality because people sometimes went too far and and got their blood sugars too low. And likewise, getting your blood sugar down with with drugs didn't prevent the the blindness, the amputations, the kidney failure, the heart attacks, the strokes, the impotence, you know, all the horrible complications of diabetes. But if you can get it down with diet and lifestyle, uh, in most cases, you can reduce or get off these medications altogether. And then by doing so, you're going to greatly reduce or even eliminate these horrible complications.